Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Market Review. The SPY here. Going to take a look and see what the market's doing right now. It's rallying. Are you surprised? The answer is no. I had 100% conviction that we were going to hold in here between yesterday and this whole look that we've had for the last week or so. I forgot the minutes were announcement were out today. Actually, this morning when I was looking at the market and was squish squashing around, and I said the call today was bullish slash neutral. But then obviously the minutes announcement came out at two o'clock. Market had a reaction, a hard strike down, made the bottoming tail in the 15 minute chart, and quickly, quickly bounced. We could even close over the high today. That's not completely ridiculous, actually. Uh, not even a dream target, but we are on our way to the next number here. We're going to do it right now. This market's going to go over the high right now. Look at this. Wow. I've, I've been calling this market long for the whole year. I've been saying we're higher the whole year. And it, we are... We're, we're going to make a new high right now, actually. All right, let's go all the way back. Let's go all the way back. And I did talk about this in a video, and I was explaining this back from before. But let's really go back now. So again, I read gaps. That's how I determine what to trade, what direction to trade, what stock to trade. And it's the reason that I've called the market so well is because I'm reading the gaps. So the market had a bullish gap back here. This is all the way at the beginning of 2012. Carry the market higher. Nice rally into 2012. And that was the instigator here that was assigned to lift everything up and then, of course, continued. So 2013 was a nice bullish year. True. 2014 has been a nice bullish year, true, but if you knew how to read gaps, you would have been in this knowing this was going to continue higher back all the way here at the beginning of 2012. And look at what this market has done since then. That's beautiful. And it's amazing. Just in that span of time in the two years here. Here we go. We're going to go over the high right now. <laughs> this is a thing of beauty, I tell you. So let's go back to May. This was the time in here when everyone was saying, market's going to come in, market's topping, market's extended, market needs a correction. The traders were shorting this. You don't short tops. There was nothing to short in here. I know we had a couple of red bars, big whoop de doo That's people doing some profit taking in here. But even all of this was happening, I said the market was higher. Then the market gapped up. I talked about this gap, and I realized it uh, very quickly, quickly, quickly after I saw that this was a significant back gap in the market. And I did say this gap could hold the entire year of 2014. And, and who knows how long it could hold. It's going to hold as long as it's going to hold. This spawned a rally up where the spine made new highs, came in, gap down here. This isn't a gap down that broke this chart, came in, retested, held in here, held where? Again, support and resistance are areas held in the support here. And nice bounce off of this area and was looking for the market to continue higher even in here. Pull down a little bit again, people are shorting this. And here's what's going to happen here. People should never have shorted this market, but people did. And they're going to have to get out when it gets over the area again. Next target's 202, 203. 203.50 is actually a number. Uh, 203.50 is something. It's a number. And anyway, so then the market came in, and we had a bearish look to ourselves for about two days. That's it. Two days, but I knew it wasn't really going anywhere. And even though we gapped down yesterday morning, I said the market was a long. That was a great call. I saw it five minutes into the open at 9.32 to buy the market yesterday. And he bought the market yesterday. This was new buying, new buying that came into the market yesterday. Held on a bearish gap down, triggered on a daily buy setup, rallied into the close, and now carried through higher today. The minutes were out at 2 o'clock today. This morning, the market sloshed around a neutral, neutral slash bullish area this morning because it was waiting for the minutes announcement at 2 o'clock. And now here we are. We're making a new high right now. What a beautiful chart here. Over 58. Here, here we go. Market set spies and new highs here right now. Wow. Here it goes. Look at this. Amazing. So once again, I said in the next four to six months, the market is going to see some crazy, crazy bullish numbers, some target in the spy and the queues that nobody's even thinking is going to even happen. Like, it's going to be some crazy number that nobody even expects to be happening because so many people have called the market to crash and that we're too extended and that we're getting toppy. And as a result of this, I think people are taking profits too early. Also, they're not buying when they should be buying because it's all the things you could be in long here. 
uh, and making money while the market's driving higher. And then what's going to happen is people will also buy late. So there's this, what's going to make this market go to some crazy, crazy numbers of, is a combination of everything. And that's why the number is going to be crazy, okay, for the target. People are shorting this market that shouldn't be shorting it because they think it's extended and they want to get a reversal move. That's the wrong thing to do. They're not gonna, they keep trying to do it, making attempts, and they keep getting stopped at every time. So then that creates a lift. Okay. Second thing that's happening here that's going to make the market go a lot higher is that new buying, new money is really coming into the market and it's going to continue to do so. The next thing that's going to happen or it's happening here is that people are going to see that they missed the chance to actually buy and they're going to buy and they're going to buy late because again you should be in this long already and then people are going to buy late like now or even past now actually because what's going to happen is every time somebody looks at this they say well I think this is too late to buy and then they're going to then they're going to not do it then they're going to wait for something else to happen they're going to say well it's too late here it's going to come in for a correction here and then it's still not coming in for correction as you see in here today with us over the high and then eventually people are going to come late to the party and buy. That always happens. And then you're going to get some huge, massive move up to some crazy number. And that's what's going to happen too. And, you know, it's, it's going to be the next four to six months. Spike could hit 250, 225, 230, 250. I'm not even going to discount a number like 300 here. It's just the timing of it. The timing of it. I, I think the spike hits 300. In the next 12 months, that's all I'll say for that. I'm not going to say with definitive 100% uh, conviction before the end of the year, but in the next 12 months, I think it happens. The bullish market's going to run, continue into 2015. But I know it's going to hit a crazy number that no one expects in the next four to six months, and then we'll see how we act. And I'm not saying we drive straight up. We're going to have activity like we've had in here. But when people say the market's going to crash, you're going to do something crazy, crazy bearish. There's no indication of that. There's no bearish activity that's even remotely happening in this market. Markets have a nice rally, and you just play the trend. You run, run with it. That's the right thing to do. This idea of playing momentum as a trader to get a reversal, it, you get run over like a Mack truck. That's what's going to happen in here, people that short this market. It keeps happening. It keeps happening. You see it keep happening here. This is why you have this type of extension that's happening here now where you have this beautiful lift here today. And even yesterday, because I know people tried to make an attempt to short the market yesterday. You can see it on the 15-minute chart. Right in here. When the market came up and retested the resistance yesterday, in here, people shorted this. It was not as short. It was a long, and then it rallied. This was the rally into 2.30 reversal time yesterday. The funny thing is that I like to go short. I like to short stocks. And I'm shorting stocks in a bullish market, you know, successfully, which is hilarious. But what's even more hilarious is how extremely precise and well I've called this market, not just in real life time, but for, for, the, for extended, like I'm calling things that are going to happen out ahead of time. And they are, like I said, the spy was going to hit 200 way before it did, way before it did. And I'm seeing things so far in the future in advance. How am I seeing this? I'm reading the trading action. I'm reading the price. I'm reading the power of money and the way it's moving. I'm reading the gaps. I'm reading the gaps. That's how I'm seeing all this is going to happen. I'm reading the gaps and I understand it. But the funny thing is I like to short. So I'm reading a bullish market uh, well and I like to short. But I think it's, you have to learn how to read gaps. If you learn how to read gaps, you learn how to read price accurately. It's extremely important. And you can study stuff. You can do all the things you want to do above and beyond and on top of your chart reading and chart analysis and reading a price. But I don't think you have to. How do I know? Because I'm not, and I'm calling this well. So if you read the price in real life time, how something's acting, acting right now, you can, you can get it, okay? You can do all the study you want above and beyond if you have time to do the stuff outside of it. But all you have to do is read price and money in a chart. And if you do that, that's all you need to do to be able to trade successfully. All the analysts, all the institutions, all the hedge funds, they're doing the work. All the extra work that they have to do, the study analysis, let them do it. And then when they take a position in something, I see what's happening with the stock or the market, and then I'm just reading the price action. So I don't have to do that other extra work because those other people, the people that are putting the money into the market are doing that work. I don't have to do that work as a trader, which is a beautiful thing. If you, if you know how to reprice, which I do in the gaps. So 
lovely bullish move here in this market. And I'm just going to continue to see things in the way that I'm seeing them. I have no idea where we open tomorrow morning. I have no idea where we close tonight. It's too early to say it's 315. We did get up near the number and uh, we did get over the number. And this is extremely bullish. And I mean, this is basically setting up like a breakout play for the possibility that we could gap up tomorrow or open uh, neutral tomorrow and just run like crazy higher tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, but we'll have to see where we close exactly in here today. So again, nice reaction here in the minutes, bullish reaction in the market, carried the market up over, broke over the high a little bit. This still counts. Wherever we close today doesn't take away from the rally that's happened here and the fact that we got over the high. And the gap down failure yesterday to go lower, even into a deeper level of support, is confirmation that the market's higher, which you're seeing the fall through today. So there's no surprise really in this here. Although I think people were surprised yesterday how extremely bullish the market traded, but I called it well into 932. What time was that? It was it was so early yesterday when I called that. Go back and look, it was early. And again, it's because I was reading the gap. Yeah, it's set up earlier in the queues. I'm <laughs> still in the first five minutes of the day. Still in the first five minutes of the day yesterday for the spy, but set up earlier actually in the queue queues. So again, the next four to six months, are gonna, the market's going to run up and continue higher. And in the next 12 months, the market could go to some just amazing number, like 300 from here. And that's, that's, that's huge. I mean, that's huge, huge, okay? Just because something is bullish doesn't mean that it can't go higher. Just like something, if it's trading down, doesn't mean it can't go lower, okay? Uh, and every time the market has activity like it had in here and like it had in here, takes away from this looking at this extended look there this when I read this and I say when I look at this chart here I just go my brain just snap shots this chart here I say beautiful perfect okay I don't say extended I don't say anything like that and I don't say anyone should be shorting this either because they shouldn't be but to see from the last few months the market was going to continue to do this was was pretty darn good. And uh, if you go back and track all my market calls on YouTube, you can see how I've tracked it over and over and over again every time I see something. So I'm putting it out there now. The next four to six months, the market is going to go and continue bullishly to some crazy number unless it does some gap down where I see it's breaking the chart, which I don't see setting up now, but will in live time if it doesn't and we'll make the call. I also see that there's a possibility of the SPY somewhere between now and the next 12 months could go to 300. And that's not even ridiculously out of the water. I mean, it's just not. Here, here, look at this. <laughs> we, can, we can close at 202 today. 2350 is a number somewhere I'm getting that. Where am I getting that? It's just coming to me, I think. Two oh three, two oh three fifty is something. That number sticks in my head. So great job, anyone who went law in the market yesterday. Uh, and held it into the target, which you got to. Market going to the target today. Again, would you go long this? It'd be aggressive to trade during the minute period. I don't suggest that's something day traders should do. Look at this here. SPY is going to close and try to make it up to 201 before the close. 45 minutes left in the day. It very likely could happen. And we'll look to see for follow through tomorrow in this, unless we uh, have a different look to ourselves tomorrow morning in the gap where we gap in the SPY. But this looks like we're going to run up into the close. It also looks like we're probably going to gap up into the post market tonight. And, and tomorrow morning, because this is so strong looking people. This is just so strong looking. And who would ever short this market? But people did. I know they did. I'm on a thousand email lists from a million different educational companies out there and all different stock tip things telling people the market was going to crash, telling people to short this market, telling people to sell out of the longs, telling people the market's going to need a correction, telling people the market's extended. They were all wrong. And I was right. So how do I know to stick to what I know here to keep reading and making these calls? Because I have a high level of confidence in myself in reading price direction, and that comes from one thing and one thing only, my analysis of gaps. My analysis of every bullish gap that I see in this chart and the bearish gaps that I don't see the follow through in, like the one that gapped down yesterday and reversed, and the one that gapped down here and didn't go anywhere, and the bullish gap that happened here that lifted the market, and the one back here that held. So I'm analyzing these things, and if you're just looking at body extension, you can't tell anything. Because this is a large red bar, and this is a small green bar. So it's not even about that, okay? 
It's about looking at it. And again, I have a 26 point rating system where I look at, which is based on technical analysis, where I'm looking at the chart and then determining what this gap is going to do. If this gap is going to follow through on the gap up or on the gap down, whether it's a long or whether it's a short. And that's how I do it. And it took me a long time to figure this stuff out. So it's no wonder that it works so well. You know, three years of my life. But it was all worth it. So good job, anyone, today here that went long the market yesterday. Follow it through. We'll see where we head tomorrow. Uh, we're headed up to the next target, which is 202, 203, 203.50 in the SPY. Uh, the next two days, Thursday and Friday, the market, we'll see where we go and just let the market rally. And no one should be shorting this market. It is not the right thing to do. The market is extremely bullish. And the last two days have proven that. Uh, completely 100%. Have a great day, everyone. If you need any more information, if you're interested in the upcoming Golden Gap class to learn how to read gaps in the way that I do, I teach a class. I teach people how to look at these things the way that I see them, through my eyes, through the analysis, through the study. The class is September 27th and 28th. Email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information or want to sign up. Fall is a great time to trade. Fall is an amazing time to trade. And if you think this market is bullish, you haven't seen anything yet. And you heard it right here at thestockswoosh.com, which is me, Melissa. Have a great day, everyone.